Hey guys, welcome to part 18. I know I told you guys there's gonna be no more videos, uh, but uh, there was a request from another YouTuber to show how to do parallel testing. And, you know, it hit me across the head that I haven't shown you how to build uh, the jar and how to actually use it uh, from the command line, uh, independent from the IntelliJ. Uh, so that's what we're going to do in this video. We're actually going to build our jar and then in the next video we're going to run the jar to make sure everything is fine. Uh, and then probably in the next video after that we're going to take a look at how we can run uh, parallel, uh, how we can do parallel testing. And we'll actually have to do uh, some more additions to the code to make that possible. Um, to make it possible in a more convenient way right now that this framework can do it but you have to kind of uh, start one test then wait for it to start and then start another one uh, but that's not very convenient so we'll do some uh, some additions to the code to make it so the framework knows where it can start the second one <clears throat> on its own so uh, right now though it's gonna be a pretty short video uh, we'll just build um, our jar so the way we're going to do it we're going to create a griddle task to do that and we're going to create a griddle task and build that griddle file so let's go into our build that griddle file and somewhere in here just add a task and call the task whatever you want i'm going to call it build jar and then inside uh, this parenthesis here we're going to specify the type and this is a jar and then we're going to declare a manifest. And inside of this manifest, we're going to add attributes. And the first attribute that we're going to have is implementation title. And we're going to give it the title, which is pretty much anything you want. I'm going to call it Appium framework and then the next thing we're gonna do is give uh, implementation version and we'll just reference our version uh, variable here and next thing we're gonna declare our main class manifest have to have a main class so I'm going to specify our main class, which is runner. And that's actually have to be in parentheses, sorry. Runner. And that's it as far as our manifest goes. Then the next thing we're going to do is give the base name to our APK. So we're going to reference our project for the name. And we're going to append, or I like to append uh, dash fm to specify that this is the framework jar. This is the entire framework. Um, so as far as I go, that's good. Uh, and then we're going to do some black magic here. <clears throat> From configurations, compile, collect. And then we're going to do in parentheses eat is directory and it zip tree it. Okay. So then we're going to say with jar and that's it. So now if you run this, uh, it should compile something, I think. Hopefully it'll work. Uh, maybe I'll throw some exceptions, I don't know. All right, we do have some exceptions, and it looks like I misspelled compile. Configuration, compile, collect, yep, okay, try again. All right, looks like our build finished with some errors. So, okay, um, so over here, this is the description of the error that we got. So diamond operator is not supported in source 1.5. And 1.5 is the source uh, that we use for our compatibility here. So there's two things that we can do. One is we can increase this 
to 1.7 because this is only supported from version 7 and higher. Uh, or if you want to keep the compatibility of a framework uh, with different Java versions, we can leave this as 1.5 and then go and find this, um, this piece of code and give the type to this hash map <clears throat> that it holds. So over here, I see that it's in my driver manager on line 33. So I'm going to go into my main Java core. I got an alarm going off. All right. Um, where was I? So we're going into driver manager and then we can check show lions and line 33 over here. Uh, we need to specify the type for this hash map. So in this hash map, we hold a string and then we hold a URL. So pretty much all we have to do is say string um, and then URL. So that will do it. So now let's try to run this. <clears throat> Another error looks like same thing on line 40 in driver manager as well. So let's see. Okay, we have an array list that does not have a type. So it looks like this is a string. So we can just repeat ourselves here. And let's run it again, see what happens. Uh, failed, oh gosh, there's a lot of errors. Okay, um, so was it grep? This is in ADB, line 143. So let's go into ADB and find this thing. 143 grep okay so over here then it says local variable grep is accessed from within inner class needs to be declared final so the way we can do that is right in the method we can just declare it as, as final both uh, log ID because we have a another error here for log ID and then we have our grep so both of them have to be final so let's uh, declare them as final and now if you run this thing it should work pretty small project so it shouldn't take too much to build it uh, the bigger your project the longer it'll take for Gradle to build it <coughs> but this one built in 22 seconds all right so that's pretty good let's go make sure we do have our jar and we can find our jar in build folder over here so we can expand it go to build libs and here we have the jar that was uh, compiled for us all right, guys, that's it for this video. In the next video, we'll take a look at how to run the jar and we will run it and make sure everything works from uh, from when we run the jar from uh, command line. So that's the next video. Thank you guys for watching. Make sure to like this video, subscribe and share the videos, guys. Helps me a lot. Thank you guys for watching. Take care.